Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. We're going to get started straight away and I'm priming my eyelids. I'm using a concealer because I find that some eyelid primers are just a little too sheer and I want more coverage to cover any veins or discoloration. So I'm using a concealer to prime my lids to get them ready for eyeshadow. And now I'm just setting that concealer by using just a soft yellow and kind of a soft white eyeshadow to set the concealer in place to make sure that nothing creases and also to prepare for shadows to go on top. If I didn't set the concealer, then the colored eyeshadows that I put on my lid would be really hard to blend out because they would stick to the tacky base of the concealer. So it always helps to set your concealer with a skin colored powder first to help all of your colored eyeshadows to blend out really nicely. So now I'm just grabbing a peach colored shadow on a big fluffy blending brush and I am just placing that above my crease and blending it down into my crease. This is just my transition color. And now on that same brush I'm just going into a light brown from that same Kat Von D palette and I'm repeating the exact same steps except I'm just keeping this directly into my crease and not really blending it upward above my crease. And now taking a smaller brush I'm grabbing a darker brown and I am patting this on the outer corner of my eyelid and I'm also going to be patting this on the inner corner of my eyelid to kind of create that halo effect and then I'm going to go in later with that big fluffy blending brush that we used originally in our crease to kind of blend out the edges of these shadows but I want to keep this dark shadow pretty low so I'm not taking it up into my crease I'm just going to use um, whatever was left over on my big blending brush that I'm grabbing here to kind of blend it very softly into my crease. And then I'm going back and forth between that small brush and the dark shadow and my big blending brush just to make sure that I get the color payout that I'm going for. And this is what it looks like with just that inner and outer corner done. And I'm grabbing this kind of taupe undertone gold from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just using my finger to pat this right in the center of my lid. And then I'm going back in with that dark brown shadow just to make sure I didn't lose any intensity of that color. And this is the finished eyeshadow look so that you can kind of see the shape. For lashes today, I am wearing the House of Lashes Mini Iconic Lashes. So I thought that since they were the mini lashes, I would be able to get away with not wearing eyeliner. But I still thought that the lash band was a little bit obvious on the inner corner. So after I put the lashes on, I went in and put eyeliner over top just to kind of help blend the lash band in a little bit better. And then I made a mistake and got angry because... Everybody knows eyeliner mistakes are the worst, especially when you already have eyeshadow on. But I was able to work it out and make it look okay, but still annoying. Now we are moving on to the face. So I am starting off with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer because my face has been so oily lately. And I think it's just after I had my second baby, like my skin has just gone crazy. So I put this right in all the places that I get oily. So the center of my forehead, the sides of my nose, and my chin. For foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and just mixing two of their colors together. I don't really have an opinion about this foundation yet. Um, at the end of the day, I didn't really like my base of this makeup look, but I don't know if it was the foundation or if it was the concealer or if it was just using the two together. So I've used their, the Maybelline's Dewy and Smooth foundation before, the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, but I've never used the Matte and Poreless. So I just need to use it a few more times to really get a good opinion on it. So I don't know if it was just the way it reacted with the concealer that I used that day, but I didn't like the way that my base kind of ended up at the end of this video. So yeah, not sure if it was the foundation or not but 
I hear a lot of good reviews on this foundation, so we shall see. For concealer, I used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and I have used samples of this before, so um, all the hype about it, you know, has been so good. So I went and bought it, and again, I just don't know if this concealer didn't work with the foundation that I had, but something about my base I just didn't love. Um, so I'm going to have to try to use this concealer with some different foundations and just kind of see how it goes. Initially I can tell you that this concealer has very good coverage. It's very thick so a tiny tiny bit goes a long way. So I just tried to apply it with my fingers so that I got the most um, like coverage from it but then I went in with my sponge to kind of blend out the edges of it and then I used a different concealer for um, just the other high points of my face because I didn't need as much coverage in those areas as I do under my eyes. To set all my concealer I'm grabbing my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just putting that right on my damp sponge and setting all the places that I put concealer so that it doesn't slide or move around. Um, and this will help too if you have an oily T-zone. Now I'm just grabbing a small pencil brush and using that light brown that we put in our crease. And I am just placing this on my lower lash line from outer corner to about three quarters of the way in. And to clean up and sharpen up the edges of my shadow, I'm just taking a little bit of that um, white shadow that we used in the beginning of the video just to kind of clean up the edges there. And now I'm just placing a nude liner in my waterline to keep my eyes looking open, especially with a smoky eye look. It's nice to have it open. And coating my lower lashes with mascara. And then for my contour blush and highlight today, I'm using this Smashbox LA Lights palette. It just kind of has a nice mix of blushes, it has a bronzer, and it has three different highlighters. So I'm using the bronzer from this palette just to warm up the outer perimeter of my face. So just kind of keeping it to the outer areas um, just to warm up my complexion and make me look not so pasty and dead because I am so pale. But this bronzer is nice because it's not orange. It's just kind of got a neutral, slightly warm undertone. And now I'm grabbing this highlighter, which was um, kind of a gold highlighter, so it kind of just brought a nice natural warmth to my skin and just a natural radiance to all the high points of my face. And for blush, I'm kind of just using that middle shade there, but my blush brush was dirty, so ugh. I had to go in with my bronzer, blah, bronzer brush and blend that all out because it just went in really hard, really fast. And for lips, I have some new Stila liquid lipsticks, and I grabbed the shade Bachi. And I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They just go on so smooth. It felt so effortless to put this liquid lipstick on and it lasted all day and it was very comfortable to wear. It wasn't super dry or anything like that. I really, really, really am looking forward to using the other shades. And this is the finished look. Just a nice smoky eye with kind of a twist because it's a halo eye and I used a shimmer in the middle, um, but I still feel like it's very wearable because the lower lash line isn't um, really crazy smoked out and I didn't do a winged liner, so really nice for kind of any occasion. And then um, just this lip color is beautiful. It's kind of this rose pink and I really, really love it. So for a list of all the products that I used, be sure to check out the description box below. I'll have links to where you can purchase all of the products that I used today. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day. See you next time.